January is usually the busiest time for divorce lawyers as people reflect on their lives and consider what changes they want to make. But due to the cost of living crisis, this year could be different. Well, traditionally, uh, Monday is described as Divorce Day because it's seen a huge spike in referrals to divorce lawyers as people have spent arguably extended periods of time with their loved ones over the Christmas period, so much so that they have ceased to be their loved ones and they have probably decided, actually, I can take no more Christmases with this person. Neil Russell, a family law solicitor, says they get the most divorce inquiries in January, but financial pressures mean some people are delaying proceedings. And what with the growing utility costs, which are burdening families on their own, two lots of those utility costs are even more difficult to manage. The other factors, a big factor, are mortgages. Uh, they want out of their marriage, but sadly the finances do not always permit for them to do so. The other thing that we've noticed nowadays where people can't necessarily afford to get divorced is a nesting arrangement, whereby the parents take it in terms of, say, renting a cheaper property, where they share the occupation of for two or three days a week, so the kids don't have to move, but the parents move in and out. Research from Legal and General has found more than 270,000 couples have delayed splitting due to financial pressures. One in five, 19% of our sample of recent divorces were delayed due to financial reasons. So, you know, the kind of common financial worries around the cost of divorce proceedings, but also about what will happen to their income as a result. And so much uncertainty in market around the economic conditions and whether or not people will even have jobs going forward. But psychologist Lucy Beresford says that she finds this research doesn't match her experience with clients. We've actually had other moments in time where you would have thought things might have compromised people's ability to get a divorce. We had had the financial crisis in 2009-10. We had a housing crisis. So people found it harder to move house and create two households. We also had the pandemic where people couldn't leave their house. And yet divorces still happened. And I suspect that what's going to happen is that Actually, there will still be a large number of people, irrespective of the cost of living crisis, which is hugely florid at the moment, who will just simply say emotionally, this is too much of a toll for me to take. With the financial situation still so difficult for so many, it could be some time yet before unhappy couples finally get